Hi, hello everyone. Uh, welcome to another video uh, in the Sakara's Home uh, YouTube channel. Today I am going to talk about the uh, reality sector and uh, how and why I think reality sector is uh, basically uh, has started an outperformance against the general market. Okay. And so the first question then becomes, uh, why why am i picking up on reality today you know uh, so let's look at the data first and if you see the reality sector cnx reality today um you will uh, you will then you know you will then see that uh, today on there was a 4% increase in the cnx reality now if i show you the weekly chart of cnx reality you will see that uh, this is basically uh, around a, a resistance, which is almost, you know, 20, 13 years uh, a big base. So, for, so this is how a very big base uh, looks like. And uh, around 650, 640 is basically the pivot and uh, a crossing of which on the upside will will probably lead uh, to a very big breakout uh, uh, that can come right so on uh, on a on a monthly chart this basically looks like a rounding bottom and uh, uh, and now this 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 looks like a, a sort of cup and handle uh, or a saucer breakout okay and now if you if you go and look at daily you will now realize that you know uh, the nifty reality is actually already above the has already broken out of the base uh, this was the O'Neill pivot of the base and I'll quickly show you what generally happens okay uh, so whenever a big base breakout happens when price reaches the the O'Neill pivot it generally there is some resistance you know it corrects forms a small sort of a handle generally this handle formation is long and that's why you get the cup and handle shape uh, in this case it was smaller than the breakout eventually happened and then retest happened uh, the low of the retest was on 25 26 september then the bounce happened and today there was a breakout of the previous high so basically we can already see that when the general market is sort of in the correction phase your nifty reality is already now making a new high okay so quickly let's look at the general market the general market is basically in the correction phase and probably it's very close to a uh, close to a bounce uh, as i already uh, discussed on yesterday's uh, video uh, so so now what does this mean you know this basically is a proxy for a relative strength right so people all the way from uh livermore to darvas has have to to recently minervini basically uh, tells you that uh, where to focus to focus on stock sector or index indices which make which are basically making new highs when the market is still correcting so on that premise uh, using that knowledge uh, that is why i am discussing the reality sector today all right so there are some other uh, interesting data points today as well which basically tells us uh, why we why we are you know uh, uh, why we are looking at uh, this guy so if you see from the breadth per sector rotation uh, perspective um you can see that so today was a good day uh, the the n which is basically net four percent minus net four uh, percent uh, was like a 218 which basically 238 stocks made four percent moves and only 20 made up minus four percent move but if you see uh, uh in terms of the sector which which was the sector today which showed the highest percentage of uh of four percent mo movers net force of four percent movers was basically reality okay that's 28 percent of reality all reality stocks uh actually uh, uh moved more than four percent so that's quite a huge uh number uh, uh and again that also 
on top of that suggests that uh, we are uh, i mean it's a very strong sector and the, the strength is just getting started okay uh, some more um, some more you know uh, uh, data points so if you see breadth and sector rotation in the last 5 days which is the sector which has given you the most return it's a uh, reality 2.8% Similarly, on an index level, reality again tops the list. Um, uh, yeah, so basically, all in all, uh, one must probably look at reality as a sector which is, you know, uh, trying to trying to uh, come up. Uh, probably here also you will see reality coming up, uh, and and as 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 the relative strength uh, gets more and more higher it will also be more evident in our uh, relative strength dashboard okay so now let's uh, then see um, this four percent move cumulative move in the nifty uh, reality index uh, which are the stocks uh, that are that are constituting the index so for that we i will show you the all the 10 constituents and I will basically pinpoint a couple of them which are looking good right now, okay? And a couple of them which are already very strong and in the in in the up move. So before looking at a daily chart to give you a holistic view, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna also first look at the weekly charts, okay? And then and then the idea behind uh, this exercise is to also show you that which was the point where you could have already anticipated with the or basically a big base breakout which could have been traded so prestige estates is a clear leader in the space and there was a very nice breakout which happened on this week uh, uh, as you can see and this is a big base breakout uh, which generally i like to trade um, and this itself was a uh, was a base after uh, you know like a huge base uh, which which was like a multi-year and so, and so this is still a very nascent uh, trend in my opinion. So right now uh, there is for at least a swing trader, uh, let's, let's the entries for a swing trader should be seen on a daily chart. So we will again uh, revisit all of them in on a daily time frame. okay? So that's uh, basically uh, next is Shobha and Shobha you can see that, you know, there's a two, uh, two successive corrections happened and on a weekly time scale this was the pivot where the breakout happened and right now it's in an uptrend uh, then there could be a possibility that this pivot might act as a resistance but that also today uh, you know it uh, sort of broke out of that and uh, as you see uh, the moment the breakout happens what does mars uh, suggest the mars also suggests an outperformance uh, the the start of an outperformance okay uh, also, you can see that the volumes are already telling us something. I don't see any uh, uh, entry in here right now, but again, for that we will have to see the the uh, daily chart. So, Godrej Properties is another uh, index constituent. Um, after this sort of a long-term downtrend on a weekly, I thought this looked like an inverse head and shoulder, but the breakdown was. Uh, uh, not successful or there was a fake breakdown and after that uh, it was very strong so this was the weekly pivot the weekly pivot crossing could have been uh, uh, an area of entry and always remember that in any of the time frame uh, the mars should always be in a in a green so mars green basically means that it's a it's a it's an uptrend right so so that was the area and uh, this, in my opinion, uh, is uh, giving you giving us an entry on a daily pivot as well. So we'll see that. So DLF, this guy has been uh, has come out of a huge base. So huge base. Uh, and again, just like the Prestige Estate, this guy is also now a possible leader. And that that the base breakout, which I would have been very keen to. Um, to you know to trade would have been this you know this then looks like a cup and handle uh, or or a mast of a bigger flag right and uh, this was the breakout area uh, and on on a daily time frame you would have gotten a breakout even on a smaller this one okay uh, so this looks good 
Similarly, overall reality, this is a very big base and a big base breakout uh, sort of happened here. Uh, Phoenix Limited is uh, uh, Phoenix uh, Limited is also uh, this was the breakout which was uh, very nicely tradable. Uh, this would have been a DTL breakout. And this you could also have traded somewhere here. And you can see that uh, the very nice uptrend uh, on, on the weekly time frame. This is the one which I like the most and uh, I'll show you. So this is Macrotech Lodha NC. Uh, this, this is a beautiful chart right now. Uh, this was a previous uptrend and then it started to base. Uh, the early entry would have been somewhere here. When the when the DTL or DTC break would happen, DTL is basically downtrend line, downtrend channel. Uh, let me draw the channel for you. So this is the downtrending channel. That breakout would have been an early breakout and see Mars what is doing, right? So, and then right now after this uh, breakout, then again, like I said, what happens when any chart reaches the previous uh, uh, O'Neill pivot? It there is some sort of resistance there and that's why the, the or we get the formation of handles so these are these are repeating market structure market tendencies okay you, this only not doesn't happen just in lodha or whatever i've showed this is a tendency which will happen in almost every stock okay and so after this small pullback uh, uh, this, there is a very nice tight action right now and uh, this is also uh, a leader okay um uh, brigade see in brigade uh, in the rest of them we saw a flat base kind of a structure whereas brigade is also a flat base but it is sloping up and this inherently means that uh, uh, the base itself is so strong that that the accumulation is visible uh, due to the slope you know and uh, and this is also very near uh, to a breakout which i called a bob which is a bullish on bullish breakout okay uh, I'll probably link uh, an article that I wrote about the BOB setup. If you are interested, please uh, check the comments for that. I don't know why Swan Energy is is here. Uh, uh, from the name, it looks like it's uh, it's something else. Uh, but uh, let's not talk about this. And the last one is Bar Life. Uh, my life you can also see that although the chart a little bit there is something in the chart which i do not like for now but you can also uh, see that this could be like a, a saucer or a or a or a or a cup and handle kind of a structure and uh, one would one can expect that you know uh, this this uh, might give us a reversal okay so so th those are the 10 names and uh, let's now look at each of uh, them on a daily time frame okay so you see prestige like i said has been a leader and uh, and one could have traded this guy uh, when this was bouncing from here on the dtl breakout you know so this is a downtrend line breakout the downtrend line also uh, broke out uh, from the 50 day uh, uh, sma as a support okay so this could have been uh, a nice place to enter here um shobha like i said today it uh, broke out of the weekly pivot and again, and there were multiple uh, times when it sort of presented a tight area, sort of a Darvox box or whatever you want to call it. Uh, and see that the volumes also confirm that this breakout would probably last. Uh, so Godrej property right now after this long uh, uptrend is uh, basing. And this looks like uh, today looks like to me as a as a double bottom continuation based breakout. Okay um yeah i mean like uh, it you can also call this a big flag 2t uh, rather than calling it a double bottom right um all right so today was a breakout day so this this is an entry this is a valid entry but the problem with this i don't like is it's slightly nearing 10 percent uh, stop loss uh, but 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 the best best thing uh, right now would be you know if this guy gets tighter and that would be an amazing uh, entry provided uh dlf uh, broke out a day two days ago 
6th October was a breakout and uh, yesterday during the fall it did not give back much which was a good sign uh, and then today again the follow through happened so and you see the volumes how they are increasing here okay uh, overall reality overall reality in my opinion uh, presents a very nice opportunity right now and uh, you can either say that that we i will would have traded this uh, breakout or this pivot any closing above this pivot above 1152 on closing basis uh, could be a valid entry point right and these are also places which these are entries which are also or which should provide you uh, as a positional trader as well very nice risk because anything which bounces off from 50 day is a is a is a very nice uh, area for you to manage risk either below the 50 day moving average or below the uh, uh, pivot low uh, and this is like 8% is a very O'Neill kind of uh, uh, stop loss to have <clears throat> Phoenix City Mall, uh, sorry, Phoenix Meals. Again, you can see that uh, a basically sideways consolidation happening. Any any sort of close above this area can be treated as a base breakout, okay? And uh, hopefully at that time, you will also get a confirmation from the Mars. It breaks out and makes a higher, high, higher low as well. Um, <clears throat> the best, in my opinion, is uh, Microtech Lodha and uh, uh this like i said was like a cup and handle kind of a structure and after the breakout uh, now it is flagging and it's one t second t and uh, very high chances that it is you know going to break out uh, uh, in the newer near future could be tomorrow could be next week uh, i would really appreciate another t and which will you know sort of give you a more tighter area for you to manage risk so this is uh, uh, as you can also see that i have uh, marked it with the red and uh, this is in my uh, watch list uh, so so this guy um, in the last one is my life <coughs> you can see that my life right now is around 50 dma and uh, uh, for it to you know give you give me an entry uh, it it will have to now come back up and basically this is the previous pivot uh, if it tightens up around this uh, pivot high uh, that would be a good cheat entry you know so so these is basically nifty uh, reality stocks from from the nifty reality now a, because the 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 reality whole sector is so hot right now or the hotness has just begun you know this will also spill to other reality stocks for sure okay and um, i'll remind you again the 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 uh, the evidence for that is coming from the uh, net 4% uh, data today and it shows that 28% of uh, stocks uh, showed a more than 4% right and so if you go and look at how many how many uh, reality stocks are there in uh, nifty uh, in, in in nifty uh, sorry in nseu you will see that uh, pqrsr right so let's go to pqr reality stock so you can see that you can see that almost 127 stocks are there from the reality or let's say i round it out to uh, about 100 stocks so 30 percent of 100 would be 30 right so around 30 stocks probably uh made uh, more than 10 4 percent today so you you can count 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 um 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 25 26 27 28 um 29 30 31 32 yeah around so about around four more than 30 stocks you know uh, from the uh, whole nse uh, bsa universe sort of uh, made a four percent high today okay so that means that the whole sector actually is bullish and so you could also look at other names rather than the uh, 10 names which i discussed today and uh, I've already done that. Uh, so all these red ones are uh, the ones which uh, 
uh, our very high priority setup um, and